If you don't like the hat, take it up with Hannah. She's forcing me to wear it. Yes, go off, queen. <laughs> Basically, hi. 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 We are... 365 days plus into this pandemic, so in a continuous attempt to torture myself for other people's sins. Today we're gonna be discussing people's scandals. You might be wondering, what's the part where you torture yourself? And I'll tell you. But first, we have to get a few things out of the way. There's still some of you that aren't subscribed. I'm wearing a bucket hat, why are you not subscribed? And also, there's a thing on the channel that we do here, Zaggy of the Month. Zaggy of the Month means the most important person who has been here for the last month or longer. What happens if you win Zaggy of the Month? You get to bear the title of Zaggy of the Month, which I mean is incredible in and of itself, but also you get a gift box curated by yours truly. And you know, there's like a few cool things in there. All you have to do to be Zaggy of the Month is you gotta subscribe, like the video, comment, and share it on social media when it comes out. Oh my god, my hair's falling in, my eyeballs. I have an Amazon wish list where I have a bunch of stupid things, really, that I just wanna try. This was on my wish list, and I thought, why not bring it into a YouTube video and torture myself? This was from Katie, and she says, enjoy your gifts. So Katie, thank you so much for this. Ring of Fire. What it is, is six different hot sauces. I assume of varying hotness and spice. What I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be discussing six scandals. We're gonna be talking about them, discussing the tea, I guess. And before each one, he sucks at explaining this. He is going to take a shot of hot sauce, then talk about an influencer scandal. Simple. Here is the game. I've had worse things in my mouth. We know. Okay, basically this idea stemmed from, I'm always sitting here, just looking on social media, seeing what's happening, and I'm always thinking, why is it so hard for influencers to just not get into any scandals? To me, that seems like quite literally the easiest thing in the world. Like you literally just sit here, mind your own business, and don't do anything problematic. Let's see what I have to drink first. This is where it's pointing. This one is called Fiery Diablo Hot Sauce. That much. Cheers for someone else's sins, I guess. <laughs> that was okay. Okay, so the first person you're talking about is James Charles and his scandal of messaging minors. In case anybody isn't aware of what's going on, within the past couple of weeks, two different people, both under the age of 18, have recently come forward saying that they had inappropriate messages with me on social media. Here's the thing, right? As an influencer, especially someone who is so well known, of course you're going to get people who message you a lot. And you're always gonna have so many people that are interested in you. If this was the first time this happened, you know, we could kind of be like, maybe he was just stupid and didn't think to like double check if someone told him they were a teen. We've seen that happen a little bit too many times. Listen, me, much smaller scale, even if I see someone on TikTok that I'm like, you're kinda cute. I go to their profile, if I don't see an age in their profile, I'm just, I'm, you know, I'm minding my business and just scrolling on. I mean, you just have so many people that are interested that it would be very easy to just find someone who is of age. You know what I mean? Should he be cancelled? If he actually has sent nude photographs to minors, then it, that is not really a reason for cancelling, more a reason to go to prison. Again, how do you get yourself in that situation? It's really not difficult at all to not message minors. I think that kind of sums it up. There's not much else to say, like just do fucking better. Okay, this one. Oh, explosive. Listen, if none of these are that spicy, I have really spicy crisps. And this is the shade, um, diarrhea. <laughs> Bottoms up. Sit down, James, please. That's not what I meant. <laughs> it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. This one might be a little bit spicier, but still pleasant. I'm in pain. Join our Sunday streams for occasional karaoke. That is really bad. Next scandal is the Dolan twins and kicking their best friend out of their house. It says that you opened like a fan snapshot and screenshotted it. What? What have you screenshotted? I don't, there's nothing on my Snapchat. Are you sure you didn't delete the combo? I don't know if many of you in the audience here are aware of who the Dolan twins are. I mean, they're so unknown. 
And, but we're talking about when they briefly did vlogs and then kicked the best friend out and then it was a whole shady story. TL Dior, uh, the Dolan twins, we're really trying to make a Logan Paul versus Grayson Dolan wrestling match happen. It was never going to happen because Logan Paul has bigger fish to fry. But they were like, let's bring in a childhood friend who has a background of wrestling over. We're going to invite him to live in our house full time because that definitely isn't a recipe for a disaster. And basically we're just going to chill. Grayson's going to train for a wrestling match that's not happening. The main issue initially was the fact that their friend replied to a Snapchat from a fan, I believe with like two hearts. There was a big row over it. A few weeks later, their friend ends up being kicked out. He's gone from the vlog, he's been erased. Then there's a big podcast release because their friend released a video about what happened. The Dawn Twins take accountability in their podcast. Basically it's like... Our team gave us a script, here's a script. That's what we're saying. What's my thoughts on that? I mean, their friend, they've known their friend for like 10, 15 years. Basically they were working on the assumption that he wanted to use them. I don't know how that's possible when you're the one that invited him out. If you're in this sort of business and you reach those kinds of levels, you definitely need people around you to ground you. And to be able to have people with you that perhaps were there with you before anything, any fame like that or any money like that has reached you is very valuable because oftentimes those are the people who don't care about that aspect of you. Hannah is here now. Hannah was here when I was even more depressed and Hannah's gonna be there when I'm rich surfing on a golden surfboard in Malibu. So in conclusion, how hard is it to not get into this situation? I think it's very easy to not get into this situation if you have that many insecurities about yourself. That's when it's going to reflect outwards, which is why you'll end up surrounding yourself with a lot of yes men. And when someone comes into your life, that's kind of like, Hmm, I, I don't know if this is the best decision for you. Sometimes those people are probably more valuable than the yes men around you. This is my message to men specifically. Men, listen up. Go to therapy, okay? Every single one of you needs it. I need it. I'm gonna get it at some point when my bank account figures go up a little bit. Go to therapy. Oh, I'm feeling the heat. Not sure if it's the hot sauce though. Maybe it's all this tea you're spilling. Okay, here we go. Look at this. So this one is called Inferno. This is what this one looks like. So if this one's not spicy, I'm going to cry because you have no right to desecrate the name of Satan like this. Would you like a shot? All right, let's go. <laughs> Maybe a little spice here. I can feel it on my tongue tingling. Here's the thing. Every single one of these hot sauces sort of tastes like They've sat on the shelf in Walmart for about 18 months before they got to me. Anson raised false controversy after using a handheld face shield instead of a mask. This is gonna be a quick one. How easy is it to not get into this scandal? It honestly could not be easier. Like you're Addison Ray, you just you just go like this, and someone probably brings you a mask. You have the money. You just don't seem to have the brains. I don't know if it's about the brains or just conscience or common sense. I don't know what it is with you guys. We're in a pandemic still. We're trying to get out of it. We're getting there. The vaccinations are happening, which is fantastic, but we're not there yet. It's not like Alison Ray has been sleeping in like a beauty chamber for the last year and suddenly has come out and is like, A pandemic? Quick, get me something. Here's a face shield. No. She's been here. I mean, you honestly might as well just not have anything at that stage. You literally just don't bother. And listen, I think here's the main point, and it's just not just addressed to Addison Ray. It's basically almost every single other influencer that exists on this planet who has ignored the pandemic. There's many of them. It's not hard. When you're an influencer in LA, you kind of feel like, oh, I'm like above everyone else. I don't have to do all these things because we can do things in private. We can go to private parties where they take our funds and no one's gonna put anything on social media. Guess what? Things are gonna get leaked and then people will know. The most depressing part is that most people don't seem to care. People support influencers not because of what they are, but despite a lot of their shortcomings. How hard is it to not get into this situation? Honestly, it could not be easier. Wear your mask. This one. 
called Kaboom. The consistency. It's yellow. <laughs> That one wasn't even spicy, it was just gross. Rice while attacking a waiter. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Hey, 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 hey. Fighting with them. What happened he couldn't there? have a vape. Remember oh, he vaping? couldn't have the vape. He wanted to vape at the restaurant, and then he literally got into like a fisty cups with the waiter, and he got kicked out of the restaurant. How easy is it to not assault physically a waiter, and I'm sure verbally actually as well, when he doesn't let me vape in a restaurant. Very easy. This is where my thing comes in, right? Like, this is where I sit at home and go, Why is it so hard to not get into this? You literally could just be like, Okay, let me put my vape away, and I'm gonna do it when I get outside. Or, you know what, if you're really, 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 truly that dependent on a smoking stick, take a breather. Just because you have money doesn't mean that there isn't any rules for you. So in conclusion, without wasting any more of my time and precious breath on Bryce Hall, it is honestly very easy. That one. Mariachi del Fuego. Here you go. Drink it. Let's go. <laughs> Dude, how do you feel? I get not spicy, this one's sweeter yet worse. After doing five of the hot, six hot sauces, I can now confirm that this is indeed a white people game. So don't order it if you want actually anything spicy. Charlie and Dixie D'Amelio criticized for being rude to their personal chefs in a video. What is this? <laughs> and and uh, what happens when... <laughs> oh yes, so Charlie and Dixie were rude to their chef. In my opinion, I think people are a little bit too harsh on Charlie. She is a child who is dealing with having really unimaginable fame. Can you imagine having that many eyes on you when you were 15 years old? Because you know what, like most 15 year olds are stupid. I was stupid as a 15 year old. You're telling me that you have never ever sat there and been like picky over food. I know some really picky eaters. You know what? I know people who are in their 20s who would act just like Charlie did and even worse. But I just think that we have slightly more important issues in the world to deal with than Charlie D'Amelio not finding snails tasty, I guess. Is it easier to avoid that? Sure, but she's a teen. So let's give her some wiggle room. We all had little tantrums as a 15 year old. I cannot imagine what sort of shit I would have done if I was 100 million followers famous at 15 years old. When they do shitty things, we gotta hold people accountable. But also let's like, when it's not that serious, let's not like, like people on Twitter really were like, let's cancel Charlie for not liking snails. Is it really that deep? <laughs> I don't think so. Last one on the menu is called Blaze and it's habanero pepper. Uh oh. <laughs> um. My disappointment in these hot sauces, much like these influencers, is immeasurable. <sighs> Little Nas X attending Oscar Mahon's party in a pandemic. This is so sad, you guys. It sucks when someone that you like to follow on social media does shitty things. My last video you might have seen was a reaction to Lil Nas' new song and video, Call Me By Your Name, Montero. But they're getting up close and intimate. It's what's happening. I don't know if this was the correct website to post this on. I think it might have done a little bit better on other <laughs> Well, do you know what? Then that's my only fans. <laughs> Honestly, I go check out that video if I haven't seen it. However, Lil Nas was also the person that tweeted something about we're in a pandemic, why do I have time to do this? And then showed up to a party without a mask in the middle of said pandemic. There's really not much to say about this other than it's very easy to not do that. Simply either do not tweet a tweet that is going to make you look very hypocritical 
or simply just don't go to a party in the middle of a pandemic. Or at least if you're gonna go, make sure that they take all the phones at the door. The shorter list would be the list of employees who haven't gone to a party in the middle of a pandemic. All of them, even Dr. Mike. <laughs> even Dr. Mike, which truly was one of the most disappointing. And honestly, a super apology. How hard is it to not go to a party in the middle of a pandemic without a mask? Honestly, very easy, just sit on your ass, you know? Here it is. So this is Haunted Ghost Pepper Crisp. So just to actually give you guys something to look at rather than just me being disappointed with the hot sauces. We're gonna eat this crisp. Crips. The crisps stay so bomb, but they're so spicy. Okay, so while my mouth is on fire, I'm gonna attempt to give you the, oh my God, the more I talk, the worse it is. I'm gonna give you the moral of this video. I see people, a lot of the times on my timeline, getting really stressed about the people that they support. And I just came here to say, and I just want to tell you, you don't have to support people who make you stressed when you support them. If you feel like you're in a fandom where you spend the majority of your time having to defend your stand, if it happens once or twice, we make mistakes. We're human. Of course, we shouldn't cancel people. But if whoever you stand is constantly getting into drama, constantly, constantly, and they show themselves to not be a good person, Let's believe them. There's many influencers out there that do amazing, incredible things and you should absolutely give them your time. If you are looking for some recommendations for good influencers, I would recommend you check out someone like Chris Clemens, who has been taking the pandemic very seriously. He's generally pretty level-headed and he talks about mental health. He's pretty good. He's very funny. Check him out. There's Andrew Lowe as well. He's really good. They're best friends. It's a Cancer Scorpio combo, just like me and Hannah. And then you've got Tyler Oakley, who Believe it or not, he's still on the internet and he still does cool stuff. He mostly streams. If you know of any influencers that deserve my attention, perhaps that are doing some good, drop them down in the comments below so we can all check them out and support them. Lastly, of course, if you want to be Zaggy Abdul Mal, make sure you subscribe, like the video, comment, and share it on your social medias and tag me. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you have a good life. And I'll see you again next time. Goodbye.